Welcome to UWA Elite All Access. I'm your host, Colin West. Fans, UWA Elite Homecoming, the 15-year celebration, is this Friday, June 26th at the Knights of Columbus in Sayreville, New Jersey. You can still get your tickets online at uwaelite.com. The UWA Elite Championship is on the line when first class Brian Brass defends against Arcadia. These two have been on a collision course since luck of the draw when Brian Brass bested Arcadia for the vacant UWA Elite Championship. Brass added fuel to the fire, attacking Arcadia after his victory at When Worlds Collide. Arcadia is taking this opportunity for the UWA Elite Championship very seriously. Here now, in preparations for his match with first class Brian Brass, Sayreville's own Arcadia. Brian Brass, I think about the last 15 years. I think about UWA Elite, what it means to me, where I came from. I think about my reputation, the things that I've done, the history of me, the history of Arcadia. I think about the 5 a.m. workouts. I think about the hard work. I think about the dedication, the things I do to become the best. And that leads me to you. I can't help but think about those moments that you've taken from people, those moments that you've cheated everyone out of what they deserve. This will not be one of those moments, Brian Brass. For 15 years, I've watched you take things from people that deserve it. This moment, this will not be your moment. UWA Elite 15 year anniversary show. Brian Brass, you're going to have no choice but to prove who you are. And I believe we already know. Kyle the Beast Wynant defends the UWA Elite I Championship against the UWA Elite's top high flyer, Drake Chambers. Drake Chambers earned his number one contendership after a very competitive four-way dance at When Worlds Collide. Now he gets his shot at the UWA Elite I Champion, the Beast, Kyle Wynant. The Rogues are riding the momentum of a 300 plus day title run. But that doesn't intimidate John Rome and Brandon the Bull. The Unstoppables seize their moment, calling out the Rogues in the middle of the ring. The challenge was accepted and the match signed for UWA Elite Homecoming. With their thoughts on the match, here are the Rogues. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Did you just find anything? Did I find anything? Found dinner. Nice. So nice. Good times, I think. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah. Okay. So, dude, so I'm thinking about this. What's what's the deal with John Rome and Brandon the Bull? Like, wh why are they getting involved in our business? Oh, you mean how we beat them, what, 19 times Dude. last year, and now they just decide they get a rematch? I almost broke Brandon the Bull's neck on a ladder the last time. Why? I don't, I don't get it. Well, they think they can get another match. I say, you know what? We give them a nice little stipulation. And I've been thinking all day, been using this little second grade uh, education I got up here. What I think we need, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> the Rich Reed Drag Queen Memorial, Caitlyn Jenner. Birthday cake death match. I love it. Give it to me. I love everything about it. All right, so listen, I have an idea. Uh -huh. I'm gonna call Dave Swan right now. Oh, Tell nice. him about that stipulation. You try and get this ketchup bottle open. Okay, I got you. Wait a minute. What? I'm digging through garbage for dinner, and you have a, a phone. It's John Holmes' phone. Oh, nice. Dave Swan, it's Kirk and Cannonball. It's me. No, it's me. I'm no, Cannonball. Dude, I'm, I'm not trying to steal your wallet. We didn't steal your wallet. Listen, I ha listen. I have an idea. We have an idea for the stipulation for the uh, the match against John Rome Brand. 
Tell them what it is. Oh, you tell. No, tell. You have you have a stipulation set already. Tell tell them what my idea. Tables. It's not a birthday bash at all. Hot dinner. Gotta get dinner. Gotta get dinner. And there you have it. By order of UWA Elite President Dave Swan, John Roman and Brandon the Bull will now take on the Rogues in a tables match. Get your tickets now for UWA Elite Homecoming this Friday, June 26th at the Knights of Columbus in Sayreville, New Jersey. Discount tickets and family four packs are available right now at UWAElite.com. What the hell is going on? This guy's bigger! Oh! This guy's bigger than TKO! Oh! What a close one! And having his way with TKO! Oh my oh, god, it's Ace Jack! What is Ace Jack doing? Oh my god. In the 2015 UWA Elite season, it could be argued that no one has made as big of an impact as the one, Ace Jack. Since his return and the revival of the ultra-violent movement, the One has converted the once patriotic Scout into his disciple Jeremiah, and then transformed Magic, one of the most respected men in the UWA Elite locker room, into his enforcer. Since their first encounter at Dangerous Uprisings, Hedges and the One Ace Jack have had it out for each other. In aligning himself with King Tech, Hedges has made his intentions very clear. He wants to see the ultra-violent movement burn. The One Ace Jack has accepted Hedge's challenge, but only under his terms. Now, this Friday at UWA Elite Homecoming, Hedges will fight the One Ace Jack in a knockout or tapout match. In a feud that goes way past the confines of a wrestling ring, Massacre and Bows, the wretched, look to destroy Eric Corvus. <laughs> After Bo's freed massacre from the confines of a casket, the duo bonded in a way that was, well, unique. I hate Eric Corvus. I'm glad to hear you say that, John. Bows and Massacre went to luck of the draw, cost Eric Corvus the UWA Elite Championship, and made good on their intentions. You can see the complete five-part Wretched Saga on the UWA Elite Pro Wrestling YouTube channel and on the UWA Elite Facebook page. Log on and watch the full story, including Wretched Part 5, the extended Director's Cut. Now the devils themselves, the wretched. Can you believe what happened at When Worlds Collide Massacre? We had Eric Corvus right where we wanted him, left for dead, just like we said we were going to do. And then you, Mike Quest, had to stick your nose where it didn't belong. You had to save the day, Mike! You were forgotten about. Nobody even remembered that you existed. You picked up and you went away. But that's okay, Mike. Because now, by aligning yourself with your friend, Eric Corvus, you have just become our number one enemy. You have the nerve and the audacity to stand there and call yourselves gods. <laughs> Eric Corvus, Mike Quest. For every god, there's a devil. And on June 26th, UWA Elite Homecoming, the wretched are going to expose you for what you really are. Mortals. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
the blood feud continues. When the wretched take on the Garden State Gods, Eric Corvus and the returning Mike Quest. The trios championships will also be on the line at UWA Elite Homecoming. In a fight to end the feud, the defending champions Defiance take on the former champions Kentucky Bread. Defiance have been on a roll since debuting in UWA Elite, ending the once perfect record of Kentucky Bread. But the good old boys won't go down without a fight. After jumping Raymond Risk last month, Kentucky Bread has proven that they will take any shortcut to win. Now, the only way to settle the score is in an old-fashioned Sayerville street fight. Defiance versus Kentucky Bread at UWA Elite Homecoming. And to officiate a match this chaotic, Dave Swan has appointed special guest referee and New Jersey hardcore icon, Low Life Louis Ramos. The number one contenderships for the UWA Elite Tag Team titles are up for grabs. The tag teams announced for this gauntlet style tag team turmoil match are Logan Black and Rude Boy Riley, the Scumbag Nation, El Murcielago Rojo and the newly debuting Circuit, Magic and Jeremiah, the Ultra Violent Movement, and King Tech with a mystery partner. And it looks as though King Tech won't be the only one with a mystery for the UWA Elite fans. UWA Elite President Dave Swan has also promised there will be a surprise or two for this contest. The heart and soul of the UWA Elite will wrestle the UWA Elite's most hated when Sean Damage McNellis takes on Nicholas K. Sean Damage McNellis wants redemption after the cheap shot Nicholas K and Brian Brass took at When Worlds Collide. Now, with his thoughts on the situation, Sean Damage McNellis. I stood in the ring at the end of When Worlds Collide, a defeated but proud man. Proud because I watched the, the UWA Elite Squad rally after being down in the World Cup of Wrestling to win. And a lot of people don't know it because we don't usually say it, but the U in the UWA Elite stands for United. And I think that word was very fitting to describe how I felt in that moment after Arcadia won his match against Gran Akuma. But then, like clockwork, Brian Brass and Nicholas K decided they were going to destroy any unity that we had just shared in that ring by attacking myself, Arcadia, King Tech, and Hedges. <laughs> now, I'd love nothing more than to get my hands on both of you. However, Brass, I know you're pretty busy. Arcadia's breathing right down your neck. And I know you're scared. So, since I can't really get my hands on you, Brass, maybe I can get my hands on Nicholas K. And maybe me and him can get into the ring at the 15th anniversary show in sunny Sayreville, New Jersey, and we can see who the true professional is. SDM looks to teach Nicholas K a lesson this Friday, June 26th, at Sayreville, New Jersey's UWA Elite Homecoming. This is the 15-year celebration of UWA Elite, and it takes place right where the magic started, live in Sayreville, New Jersey. At UWA Elite Homecoming, we will crown a new number one contender for the UWA Elite Championship. The participants in this six-pack elimination match are the golden ticket holder, Joey Adams, Smiley, TJ Blade, Mark Quen, Tommy Guns Cobran, and Gran Akuma. Fans, that's it for this week's edition of UWA Elite All Access. I'll see you live this Friday for UWA Elite Homecoming in Sayreville, New Jersey.